On there, fellow YouTubers, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great week so far. All right, guys. Uh, one of you guys had emailed me, say, Chris, you got to check out this uh, this pan. There's some crazy things in this. Now, this is from Saw 173. Now, the thing that I'm going to show you guys, I've already done a video on it. In fact, I think it was November of last year. Okay. So I'm going to show it to you again, but there's also another anomaly that I had done that's also in here that you probably haven't seen. In fact, I did a video on it. In fact, it was one of my very first videos I've ever done on this channel about this one little piece. Now, some of you guys might remember it through another channel or mine, or you've never seen it before. So sit back and check this thing out. Now, let's jump into that right over here. Now, you can see it right here. It's from Sol 173 Mass Cam Composite by Terraform Mars. The gentleman's name is Neil Spence. He does a great job putting uh, these pans together and stitching them together. He does moon as well as Mars uh, photos. So uh, thank you very much, Neil Spence, for doing this. Uh, I appreciate it. Now, a lot of times you guys will say, hey, Chris, we have no idea what the scaling is uh, of these objects, the area we're looking at. Well, I'm going to show you the video that I had done, and then I'm going to just jump to different parts of that video uh, after I show you these things right here. But this is the actual video that I had done. You can see right here, 10-18-2019, right? But here's the actual rover. You can see the turret arm, and here's all the tools of the turret right there on the arm itself. And, of course, it's out of focus because they were trying to focus more on the background, right? So this is the outcropping we're going to look at first, okay? And then there's a little part right on the, on the right-hand side we're going to have a look at, and maybe a quick uh, couple other pieces, right? But just to give you an idea, now... If you were standing next to this rover, your head would probably be right around here, okay? You'd be looking right at it because what's taking the photo is the mass cam looking at its own arm and turret, right? So if you were to look at this, you could walk right over there. My guesstimation, it's about the size of your hand, maybe two of your hands put together, okay? And you'll see what I mean. Like I said, these objects, you guys are going to go, oh, I recognize these. These were last year. You had you done these. Now, before I show you what I'd done in this video and how I brought up more details, let me show you the objects first, okay? All right. So let's zoom into this. Make this whole screen. We're going to go zoom into it. Now, just looking at these rocks, you go, well, no big deal. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. Those objects are right here, literally in the middle of the screen. Right there. Let's zoom in. Now, I'm going to zoom in increments at a time. You guys can stop it any way you like and have a good look at it with your magnifier. Now, guys, to me, this is one of the photos I had done that screams intelligently made. Now you may say, well, look, man, you can see nothing but rocks. How could these possibly be anything other than rocks? Well, when you have a look at the actual details on them, there's no way that these could be rocks, at least in my opinion. Of course, you guys have the last say in this. So let's jump into this. Let's go in there further, okay? Check these out, guys. Look at this. And again, when I did this video about these very objects, like I said, we have something right here. And if it's a rock at a transparent end, we have what looks like a box right here underneath what has what looks like a silver end to it. You can see a black box right here, two white features on it. There's one here and one here, and looks to have like a silverish end to it. And again, it's transparent rock. Also, we have what looks, I call it the hood, because you can see it right here. It goes up like this, goes around comes back down, and it drops down right here. See that right there? It just starts right here, goes up, goes around like this here, goes up and over, and comes back down, right? Now, what looks like something round inside it, it's almost like a hood, right? And it has this piece here. Now, I guess some people think this is a rock because the way they blended it. It actually looks like, if you look at it another certain way, it kind of looks like a flat rock here. But wait a minute, then what's this piece right here that looks much brighter than this rock? So when I looked at it, it looked like some kind of weird hood type thing. Now, is it possible it is two different things? Okay, but what is this that has, at the very end of it, it looks rounded, and it has what looks like a oval detail, almost like it's uh, an opening, and you can just have to see the bottom one right there, okay? You've got this piece right here. Now, what I call it was like a convertible type thing. Like, you look at it from the bottom, and you're looking up. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, guys. I'm just saying that it has that kind of weird look. Um, so yeah, it could be your mind playing games with you, but I also showed you this piece right here. It looks mechanical and I'm going to show you that enhanced, uh, in a moment. You have what looks like another little vehicle of some kind of weird thing right here, like this bigger object right here. Now, again, we back out. Okay. These are not very big. See that? And the Rover itself is sitting over here. 
as I showed you in this video. Okay, so there, we're talking about way back in here. Now, let's have a look. Should be right around, let's go right here. Now, look at the pieces that I brought out here in the bottom just by using the tools to bring this out. Now, you can also notice the other objects on the top here that were also brought out. Guys, all I had to do is just kind of like use the, uh, the burn tool and I was able to bring this stuff out. Look at this. There's something else here you can't make out at all what it is. But right here, this thing, I'm not sure what that is, but that doesn't look like a rock. And neither does these other objects underneath. This is some kind of mechanism. And it looks like it has some kind of pivoting point right here that looks like it kind of goes up and down like this here. Okay. You've got this other object here. Again, this weird looking rock that's transparent at the end. That doesn't make any sense. Again, we have this hooded piece. And you can see where, it, just like I said, it starts right here, goes up, has a little curve, goes up along the edge, it comes back down. If you were to look at it from over in this direction, meaning go all the way to the left and look straight in the back, it looks like it's a round circle. And this is covering that. And you can see the base of it right here to the right, it is darker piece, like it's rounded. You've got these other pieces, I've, like I said, I've used a, the, uh, the tool there to burn this out, and this stuff suddenly comes out of nowhere, guys. It doesn't make sense. We've got this other piece here. It's supposed to be a rock. And it looks like there's something sticking out. I call it look like a wheel sticking out of this thing, and it could have been some kind of mobile thing. But whatever this thing is, let's call it not that at all. It just happened to be something that they rockified and made it look like it's a rock, and clearly it's not, right? Pretty interesting if you ask me. Now, again, we're going to go back into this. We'll go like this. You Guys, you can actually see the lines still in here. Look at them all. Right in here. This square piece I showed you, it's all right here. This whole area, just take away the black lines, you take away detail. Look, you can see right here, something right here, like a, it looks like a, this S kind of shape. The lines are there. Now, guys, why do you suppose these rocks are always either brightened up and you never really see any detail? And why do you guys suppose that is? Because they're hiding details. The best way to do it is blend everything, even if it's something that's not natural, blend it in with the rocks and make it look like it is actually that. But whatever this stuff is, Again, this to me is like, boom, right there. And some other pieces laying here that I showed you that burned out. And there's other mechanisms sitting right here. Once you burn out the lines to this thing, it really does uh, look like it's intelligently made. It's pretty interesting. We got this piece right here. This almost looks like some kind of weird rectangular piece with some details in it right there. Okay, let's bounce over to the other side. This is, this is cool. Now, people have, people have called this all kinds of things, but you guys tell me what you think. Your first uh, impression, okay? Check this out, guys. Right here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it's a metal something or other. Now, I think I kidded it around, and I called it like a steel dinosaur because it almost looks like the head looks like a little black eye right there in the center. And looks like little arms sticking out of the front of it. Now, clearly that's not a metal dinosaur. However, whatever it is, it's reflecting. It has steel. It's something that's on the ground. And it kind of looks like a little animal, if you ask me. I'm not saying that's what it is. But either way you look at it, that's pretty funky. That's, that's pretty cool. And I find it very interesting. Like I said, when you look at that and the other objects I just showed you. But guys, there's so much more here to see. Um, again, you got to comb over these things real carefully and you see some stuff in here that you just go, oh, okay, well, these may be rocks, but clearly this is not just a lot to see here, guys. Now, I don't believe this. Guys, I see rocks like this. I don't believe those are rocks. It looks CGI'd. It looks like it's been gone over. Um, like you got this big platform type thing, right? See this right here? Goes across, has a 90 degree corner, goes back this way. Now, is it actual a platform? I don't know. It, it's not very big, whatever these things are. Now, if you look in comparison to that square, to these small pieces, that would be a good size slab you'd have to pick up, right? See it? But it wouldn't be that bad. I mean, you'd probably have to hold out your arms pretty, you know, pretty far to pick it up. But regardless, there's another one over here. Let me show you this one here. Uh, right in the back, right here. I'm not so sure that's an actual rock. 
And you can see this other funky one right here. Look at that. It almost looks like it comes up on both sides, like a, like a peak to each of these right there. See that? See the edge to that? It's kind of really odd shape. Most stuff can be found. All you got to do is just burn it. Use the dodge tool, different tools that we have here. And you can see some really crazy pieces. Just It's just awesome. And we've been over a lot of these photos during the live feeds where we look at these things. We comb over them. And by the way, I got a real interesting one for you guys Friday. So I hope everybody can jump on that live feed uh, Friday evenings at 5 p.m. We got a cool one that was also suggested to me to look at. And uh, just the stuff in these rocks, guys, makes no sense. When you see them, you're going, man, I don't know, man. You just kind of lean towards the, you know, intelligently made. Even if you don't know what it is, you can clearly see, okay, that's that's not natural, right? But anyway, guys, again, I, I wanted to show the newcomers uh, those particular weird-looking pieces on this so-called rock or these other rocks right here. Now, I still maintain that this stuff is intelligently made, um, and it's been, you know, manipulated to kind of blend it and make it look like it's just part of the landscape. Now, again, how big are these things? I'm guessing between about the maybe the size of your hand to maybe two of your hands, and that's pretty much it, guys. And the same thing with this little... Again, this little chrome piece sticking out of the middle of nowhere uh, on this so-called rock as well. Because, to me, that's a piece of shiny chrome, and that clearly is not natural. It's some kind of reflecting steel of some sort, right? There you go, guys. Saw 173. Give me your take on it, as always. Guys, like I've always said... There's a lot of things you can really scrutinize on these rocks, and clearly these are intelligently made. I see things that are designed. Now, is there a bunch of rocks around it? Absolutely. Now, you have to ask yourself, we've seen the actual rover in the photo, and this stuff is way back off in the distance. Again, maybe a couple of your hands, and this thing is in your hand. They're not very big at all. In fact, some of them are probably will fit in the palm of your hand. The other object, chrome, steel, reflecting of some sort. What could that be? Uh, especially on a planet that should have nothing on it but rock and dust, right? As always, guys, you get the last word. Drop your comments and thoughts below. Please like and share. It is appreciated. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And guys, I got another Mars video coming up as well as another moon. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to jump onto my Lunar Anomalies and Beyond. If you haven't subscribed to that, subscribe to it and hit the bell on there so you'll be notified of those videos coming up as well as this one. If you're just watching, like what you see, Go ahead and subscribe and hit that little notification bell on the right-hand side of it so you get uh, notifications of uh, the newest videos coming out. And guys, I know some of you guys have said, hey, man, I'm not even getting notification what's going on. Just check back, just like you would on your TV. Just boom, flip it onto the channel you like and see if there's anything new there, right? Uh, it's been a little busy this week because school's going to be starting. School's getting geared up. So I'm trying to get these out for you guys. So just stay tuned. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.